And a little woman minus walks right, so big and but Fox, and my brother Cerberus, and this movie was god dang amazing. Why is it at an 18%? You didn't say what movie we saw. Oh, Dark the Tower. Dark Tower. Dark Tower. Dark Tower. Dark Tower. Yeah. We're gonna go see the Dark Tower. I thought it was good. This movie was really good. Like, I really like this movie. And I don't know why it's at an 18%. Really? Why, you do? No. I don't know why it's at an 18%. Oh. But I'm surprised it's at an 18%. Yeah, it's at an 18%. I'm like, why? Not like last week, too. We're, we're, yeah. We're kind of late on this one. We are a little bit late on this one, but still, this was a good goddamn movie. I really did like it. I liked all the references that I did know. Oh, yeah. Like, you you were, you, like, you were my Stephen King reference book. <laughs> I was just like, okay, I, you're like, that's... That's the hotel from The Shining. It was. That's, That's the car from true. Carrie. And That's was, Cujo. And I'm like, oh god, this is all going over my head. Thank you for being here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy I didn't see this alone. <laughs> Jesus, I would have missed a lot. Um, I, I like this. Movie. And then Pennywise, that one Pennywise, I knew. Yeah. That one I knew instantly. That was fucking cool. Yeah, because in case anyone doesn't know about Stephen King's books, I is I want to read it. Oh yeah, this one I really do want to actually read. But if anyone doesn't know about the Stephen King's books, is they're all connected and have their own kind of mythology. Um, all of them, and Dark Towers is basically what connects it all together. Basically, the Dark Tower is a tower that's in the center of the universe, apparently, that protects everything. It protects things from outside, outside our universe, which is like the void or something. At least from what I got from watching the show Haven, which is part of a Stephen King's thing. Even though I'm pretty sure a lot of it's not part of Stephen King's canon or whatever. But it, it takes enough out of it that I can still get a lot of, you know, the mythology out of it. And everything else. And basically, again, like there's a lot of references to everything else because they're all supposed to be connected. I'm surprised, I'm, I'm surprised if we missed like a Shawshank like thing in there somewhere. I'm pretty sure there's somewhere there is... But like um, I said, I was surprised I noticed all the ones like that I did notice. Yeah. You know, like like the, the toy car, I was like, that car looks familiar. I was like, wait a minute, Christine. I was like, that's a Stephen King movie. And then like the hotel was, it was the same hotel from fucking The Shining. Yeah. Which was cool. And the thing is like, even like in this movie, they talk about The Shining. Because the whole thing is that like, I guess kids have the uh, have this psychic power that's why you see in like all of Stephen King's books there's some t or uh, movies too where there's always the one kid with the magical power or whatever whether it be though I'm not sure what they all are but what is it um in the shining shining kid uh, there there was a uh, the thing called the Langoliers you never I don't think you ever saw that um, yeah it Christine I didn't see Christine. Christine's like a high school kid, and it's this car that's possessed by a spirit, and it starts killing people. Oh, yeah? It's a pretty cool movie. And there's this really cool, uh, well, I think it's a really cool, it's totally off topic, but like, he's, the car's trying to kill this kid, this fat kid, right? Yeah. And, and, the, and the kid gets into a space where like, the car can't fit. So then the car starts like, and then it starts like forcing itself in and you see the car denting and it starts slowly getting to the kid and then it just like kills him slowly and then it reverses out and then it like refixes it up. fixes itself. That's freaking cool. I was like, oh my god, that is awesome. But a quick synopsis of this movie. Basically, uh, again, Stephen King trope, but it, this, this, is the, this is the thing that's supposed to be that everything throws off, spins off over all leads up to is the Dark Tower is... This kid is having psychic visions after his dad died in a fire accident, like, I don't know, a couple years ago. Which was funny, because we saw this trailer about firefighters. Oh, yeah. Like that's split, probably why. That's probably I, why. I split my, I was like, I feel like we're watching a different movie. Because we saw that trailer with the firefighter, and I was like, that's the, the story yeah, of his dad. <laughs> and then they have Penny, then they have the It trailer before that, too. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, connected. you're all connected. But um, basically, he's having these dreams. His mom is concerned. His stepdad doesn't give a dick. crap. Yeah. Um, the mom basically wants to send him to like. The mom was hot too, and she looked a little bit younger. It could have. She could have passed for his sister. Yeah, like an older sister. Like yeah, but she probably had him when she was like sixteen. Or yeah, 15. like really young. But um, she wants. She wants to send him to. 
like a place so that way they you know test them or whatever but he's having his dreams of people with fake skins yeah. and then uh i never understood what they were were they monkeys again no i, I said vampires at one point like the thing i don't know what the heck they were but i will say like again like it's this is part this is the beginning of a story right so I'm fine with them not answering everything. Heck, not answering some stuff kind of leaves it up to like, okay, what the fuck? Like they never said how the gunslingers were wherever made or, or why they're gunslingers. I was perfectly fine with that. Well, you kind of get why they're... It's like why the Jedi are the Jedi. Yeah, but you don't get an origin of, of the... You never got an origin of the Jedi. Exactly. All you got was they protect, they protect the Force. That's it. I wish we could have seen more, though, like... Hopefully well, again, was, this is the beginning. Yeah. This is the beginning of the story. I want to see, like, old, like, when they're, like... No, because then it might be, like, the, the Star Wars where, like, you know... The prequels? The prequels. I'm fucked. I don't know. No, I that was just George Lucas himself. They could have made those a lot better. Yeah, again, Clone true. Wars, the animated series, is a great version of every... A great way to say that. Anyways. But, um, anyways. The so, story is fucking awesome. Yeah. The, the story was good, too. Like I liked, I liked I didn't it. I did get lost. I understood it. I get it. I understood everything. But, basically, again, Man in Black is trying to destroy the Dark Tower because he wants to release the monsters that are surrounding the universe. Yeah, like using kids... Something. Yeah, using kids who have The Shining to destroy it. And they literally call it The Shine or The Shining. Um, this kid is apparently super strong because he can tread dimensions and he has to find the gunslinger. Gunslinger finds out this kid knows where the man in black is. The man in black killed my parent, my dad, and all my friends. I'm gonna go kill him. And apparently his so, soft-skinned mom. Yeah, so... What so, if the men in black actually turned out to be the gunslinger's father? Like, he raped eh, his mom. I... No. I'm just saying, like, that no. be twisted. No, but, um... This movie went there. Uh, at one point, yeah. But, um... This movie was, it was awesome. I Matthew McConaughey as a bad guy was pretty freaking good. He was charming, but still like a deadly I motherfucker. I felt him more like kind of creepy. I like. felt I felt him like how the devil would be played. <laughs> like if you ever play the, if everyone else ever played the devil, I feel like that's how it'd be. Someone who's kind of creepy, um, charming, and just really does not care. <laughs> you know who played a good devil? Oh. Who plays a good devil? I'm talking about the guy from Lucifer. Al Pacino. Yeah. Al Pacino did two separate. I'm movies. your father. What? Uh, it's not Al Pacino. Do you know who Al Pacino is? Yeah. Who's Al Pacino? Scarface. Besides Scarface, the devil. Anyway, he's in two separate. He's Al Pacino, he plays, Jack and Jill. He plays. He plays a good a good devil. But I like Matthew McConaughey. Kind of came off like I liked him. Kind of creepy, like. Well, yeah, it's easy. He is basically the devil. I think he was. The, I think he's a high-ranking demon. He's Walter. <laughs> yeah, no. the name was funny, like. Oh, but I love. I love that his name was Walter because yeah. like, it's like the most evil, deadliest be mage of all time. What is his name? Walter. <laughs> it's just so goddamn amazing. I love that. He does play a good bad guy. I liked him in this. I he really did. Kind of, I didn't find him charming. I just I, found him creepy. I found him charming. Like, I was like, I, I kind of, it's because Matthew McConaughey, I'm just like, I, I, I know you're evil, but god dang, you're kind of cool. He <laughs> seemed like very abusive, like as a, as a. Well, yeah, he's a bad guy. <laughs> he he's is. women. Bad. He burnt, no, he like, burns his henchmen. That's it, what they are. His henchmen, not his women. They're Get that straight. People. I don't think they're the more bird to me. Really? Yeah, but um I don't know. They were Indra Salba's bad. pretty freaking cool. Who's that? Oh, the bull. Gunslinger. The gunslinger. Yeah. Uh the kid was a good actor. All the acting was good in this. And again, I've seen cruddy acting. I've seen Valerian. That thing is filled with cruddy acting from the main goddamn actor. Or did you like his acting in that? I think the movie was good. Valerian or Gunslinger? I I was mostly lost by the chick most of the time because she was in a bikini. You're talking about Valerian. Um, that's not her name. Whoops. You know, you're talking about the movie Valerian. I'm talking about but the chick. In Gun, anyways, the action scenes were good in this. Yeah. I love the act. They're not John Wick. No. Nope. They're not John Wick for gunfighting scenes. And they're not Matrixy like. 
Like, you believed he had, he, he, he was like almost superhuman. Well, yeah, that's kind of the thing. Like he's a super soldier, basically. Yeah. He's superhuman, and like his guns have magical properties. Yeah. And you know, his gun. Tell me, tell me his, his guns, guns are made of freaking Excalibur. I'm like, <laughs> that is amazing. <laughs> I, as soon as they said his guns are made from Excalibur, I'm like, they okay. They didn't even say Excalibur first. They said something else. No, they said and the sword. Knew, the sword of the sword of. Arthur L or something. Yeah, you knew right off the bat. I was like, "Soon as he said Arthur, soon as he said sort of Arthur L, I was like Excalibur." And, and he's like, like, "You guys call it Excalibur?" I'm just like, "Fuck like, yeah!" Was I was like, cool. "That was freaking like I always love. I always one. I would love to see like a remake of like Arthurian legend, modern day, because I kind of just want to see how they would do it, but then have the sword as a gun, and I think that would be like just. I want to see that. He did that in Romeo and Juliet. Juliet. That's what I'm saying. Like Romeo and Juliet. I'm like, I want to see the Excalibur equivalent of a gun. It would be a revolver. It would be a revolver. It would be his gun. Because like now that you say Excalibur in gun form, I just think of two revolvers. Yeah, because I. That's what I would. Yeah, and the thing is like, yeah, you know, it say, would have to be something old because. Well, yeah. They, you know, like, like, because I guess the way. Well, no, because I couldn't see a newer gun being made from an no. ancient sword. No, yeah, I would. Revol that's the thing. Revolvers, or revolvers, a carbine. A carbine would be fucking cool, made from Excalibur. Like a Winchester? Yeah. Uh, I no. prefer a revol. I prefer a revol well, carbine uses wood stuff like the handle and everything. A revolver can be solid. Well, not solid metal, but solid freaking metal. But so can a carbine. You can make the the handle and everything metal. I guess, but I'd still see a like, carbine. Think of it like it's, think of it. It's the same color as a sword. It's just a carbine. And yeah, that would look cool, but I still think I prefer a revolver. Like, if, o so if only because I like revolvers. Revolvers are like the basic of a gun. It's literally chamber hammer. Yeah. You can make that sucker so goddamn quick. And and he got two of them. Oh yeah, that was freaking. I love that freaking thing. Um, goddamn. Uh. It's this is the beginning of a story, a story I really want to see. And again, I've seen bad movies. I've seen um, what did you what the fuck do you call it? Um, it comes at night. I've seen Valerian again, beautiful god dang movie. I know you like it. What Valerian? I like the way it looked. Yeah, beautiful god dang movie. Terribly acted, terrible story. This one, acting was solid. I I thought the acting was solid. I understood the motivation and characters for everything. The only problem with this movie is I want a video game of it. Yeah. I want to play as the gunslinger and go around mowing people down with these magic with these magic revolvers. Heck, the the funny scene and the few funny scenes that are in this movie are freaking great. I think whether they be like the theme park. These are ancient. These are ancient places. These are ancient places uh, that no one knows what they are. It's a theme park. <laughs> or um, when they walk into the gun store. <laughs> he walks into the gun store, he's like, oh. He, he was, was like, stunned. He was like, oh my god. He was like a kid in a candy store. He's like, he's like I want that one, I want that one. He only he takes. For was he, yeah, all he has for, for the regular bullets. I'm like, oh, I kind of want to see him like go. I want to try I wanna, like new guns. I wanted him to keep his revolvers, yeah, but I wanted to see him like take a like a machine gun and like wanted it, yeah, like like brrr, like use it and like ricochet bullets off walls with the machine gun or something like that. I think that would have been amazing. That would have been cool. Um, but I still like the fact that he uses his guns like while everyone else is like using high tech bullets and shit, and he's just like, bah. not even everyone was using high tech. Oh yeah, everyone was using. I like the way he shot too. He was just like. Boom, 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 boom. Like yeah. you would think a Western person would shoot. Like, just boom, yeah, boom, he was boom, basically boom, a gun. Boom, boom. He's a gunslinger. <laughs> it was freaking great. I loved it. He was. He had a certain style to it, though. Is what I'm saying. Well, yeah, he had like a certain gun gun fighting style. Again, it's not John Wick gun fighting style, but it's pretty goddamn good. It's pretty goddamn good. I love. I really like. I've seen worser movies get better reviews and crap like that. I don't know. Maybe if anything, that 18% is critics, and I could see critics being like, "Oh, blah blah blah, not the great." Honestly, though, me looking at this movie, I this is honestly one of my favorite movies this summer. I think this is right. Let's see, 
Dark Tower, not after credit scene. Well, there is an after. That's not really after no, credit scene. After credit scene. It's just the though. You made me sit through five hours of trailer. They all they immediately know that's a lie. <laughs> Four hours. That's yeah, basically. That was like, okay. I okay. Saved you 10 okay. Minutes. Okay. That makes more sense. Yeah. Tomato meter. Basically, critics. Critics pan this movie. They panned it at an 18 percent. Like Panda Express. No, pan as in like, not good. Okay, yeah, Panda Express. <laughs> oh, but audience, it's at a 61 percent. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad at all, because I can I, I see that. I just feel like maybe not enough people went to go see it. No, I I think that's just critics, because again, like it's that's those are the critics. These so are the people. We're seeing this late. Yeah, but still, those are the critic scores. We still haven't seen Planet. Or I Apes. have. You saw the you saw the Apes? Yeah. I need to make a review of that one. Was we should watch. We should watch it. Yeah, it's really good. We should watch. Go but see I that. haven't seen the second one. You're a freaking idiot. Anyways, but anyways, the movie is really good. The acting is solid. Again, don't mind the critic score, which is at an 18. percent It's a very enjoyable again movie. audience. Yeah, it's like, really. I had a good this time. is an action-packed adventure, and I'm really hoping that the guys who make this or whatever the people who made this that they look at they don't look at the critic score but the audience score and he's like yeah there's a market for this goddamn movie because this this is a freaking good movie i want to see the next one of this and i don't know maybe if you read the books maybe if i read the books i'll hate this movie or I something mean, fucking twilight could get four movies why can't oh god four oh god movies? yes if twilight could get four goddamn movies Give us a, like another gunslinger movie, especially the ending. No, three. I want three more oh, gunslinger yeah. movies. Yeah, fudge yes. What is it? Um, it kind of remind the ending kind of remind me of Time Bandits. You never seen that? But in the ending, it's kind of a similar thing where like spoilers for the end of the movie, the parents die. What? But like um, what? Like, in the yeah, but in the end, the kid doesn't go with the Time Bandits. He's just left alone on Earth. With like basically with dead parents. A, yeah, orphaned. This is like they fix that ending. It's like, you want to come with me? Become a gunslinger? He's like, sure. Yeah, like for a second, I thought he was just gonna like <laughs> leave, leave him. him. No, I was like, I was like, one, I was thinking like, you better not leave him because like he has nothing. You are now basically the closest thing to a father figure he has. I want to see that relationship. Oh, yeah, exactly. Grow. Like even the little bit that they showed in this movie wasn't that bad like I liked everything like even like where it was like my friend doesn't even really like me but like you slowly kind of saw like a relationship grow between it between them which I kind of really liked and like it's it's short and small it's short it's it's not like something that's completely in your face but it is there still which I like and I don't know it's just a really good movie I would definitely say Check it out. This is definitely something I say to go watch it. We saw it in Dolby. Yeah. God dang, that scared us a couple times. <laughs> with the like gunshot. Bullets. We felt like like we felt that gunshot. Not the bullet, but like the The gun. Yeah, the sound effect when like, boom, like Jesus. It was freaking amazing. Also, this is the only Stephen King book where it doesn't start off in Maine. <laughs> but um That's true. Yeah. The god dang this but is where so was good. the facility at? You mean the facility, the dark one? Where they take the kids. It was just the Dixie place. Dixie Pig. But where they say, did they say a place up north? I'm pretty sure. Actually, you know what? If, if anything, they probably did say something like that. Because remember, he was going to go away for a weekend. Yeah, but I think... Yeah, but also, I will say, though, there is kind of a Luke and, Le Luke and Leia blowing up Jabba's palace scene where they blow up the dark, the man in black's like building or whatever and just like there were kids there <laughs> yeah there were kids there they're all either dead or never going to be able to get home was never a plan for a rescue mission i don't think well no i if anything they probably didn't know they were brought no the kid no they kids. Knew they were. <laughs> yeah. they were kids there. those kids are dead those kids are dead <laughs> They are dead. There's no way. Two generations of gunslingers are back to only two. Now. Yeah, but again, yeah, but um, this was good. I like this. I want to see this kid because apparently he's super strong with his shining. So I want to see him become a gunslinger. 
Because that would be so goddamn But not amazing. so right away. Like the second movie. I well, no, like, but he's, like he's train, training. Yeah. You know, and then the third movie, he starts to become like a gunslinger. Yeah, to, to put it, to put it and in. And then he has to face his own man in yeah, black. Something like that. But let's, let's put it in the context, even though you don't like the prequels, this would be the Phantom Menace yeah. and where they find him yeah. and then they start to train him to become a gunslinger. Now I don't even Oh shut up! I the second one prequels. Out the the third second one's my favorite. The second the worst one, I guess. No, no the Menace. first one's the worst one. I'm saying in a sense of time wise, the second one would be where the kid learns to become more of like a gunslinger like and everything. Been gunslinging for like yeah. a couple of years. Right? Yeah, and then the third one would be when he's officially a gunslinger. When him and the Andrew yeah, Salva introduce his main man in black in the second I, one. I'm pretty sure the guy in black is still going to be the Matthew, Matthew McConaughey. McConaughey. Which honestly, I'm fine with. He was yeah. good as a bad guy. I yeah. really liked him as a bad guy. But then that means they got to kill the, the old gunslinger. Andrew Salva? Yeah. I'm pretty. Kind of when you become a mentor, I think, in event, especially in a movie <laughs> like this, eventually you're going to die before your student. I think that goes with anything. If yeah, you become a mentor in anything, Almost your, your anything. legacy is to die. So kind that's of. why I don't like to be mentors to people. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you teach me how to drive? Oh, God! <laughs> That's why I will never have a legacy. Ah, uh, jeez, but this movie is good. I definitely say go watch this. Support this movie. I want to see more of these. I mean, come on, Twilight, guys. Come yeah, on. Twilight. Fr God dang, Twilight. Come on. If There's Twilight, there's got to be more Gunslinger fans yeah, out there. If Twilight could get four. That yeah, four god dang movies. Four! Actually, wait, is it four or five? Because remember, they no, also had the part one, part two. Yeah, but that's still part of the four movie, because it's supposed to be three movies. Are you sure? Because there was Twilight. Twilight, Breaking Dawn. Breaking Dawn, and New Moon, New and then there was the last no, one. Breaking Dawn, part one, and part two. It's it's Twilight, New, New Moon, Moon, Breaking Dawn, part one. Breaking I'm pretty Dawn, sure there was another movie in between those. I don't think so. I'm pretty sure there was. What would it be called? Something Twilight night one and a half full moon. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but um, full mooner. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this movie is good. I would say I highly recommend it. Go check it out. It is a freaking amazing movie. You have anything else to add? I want to be a gunslinger now. It's it's freaking awesome. <laughs> Thanks for watching the videos, and we will see you later. Pew. Bye, Michael.